Hello and welcome back for another snack size episode in Unreal Engine 4. In this episode we're going to talk about the for loop, what it, how we use it, what it's used for and basically demystifying everything about it. So this is what the for loop node looks like. It comes in two variations, you've got the for loop by itself and you've got a for loop with a break. Um, they work fundamentally the same, um, the break having a separate uh, behavior which we'll go through in a moment. So what is a for loop? A for loop is basically a loop, obviously, that allows you to repeat a certain section of code multiple times within the same sort of tick or render. So for example, if I had a begin play here, plugged into my for loop, at the beginning of the game, this will create a loop uh, and everything attached to the loop body will loop round a certain number of times. Now, how many times it uh, does that loop depends on its first index and its last index. Now, we call this a zero based index. So that means basically it starts at zero. So typically we keep the first index at zero, but there may be occasions where you don't. So that's the first index and the last index is the number it's going to end at. So the last index, if I type in say four, means that this will repeat five times. What first one at zero, then one, then two, then three, then four, bringing us to five total loop. So whatever I attach to this loop body will repeat five times. So let me just put a print string on here and click compile. And so now when I push play on the game, you'll see hello printed five times in the top left. So that's all well and good, but how does it actually work? Well, imagine that the loop in a single cycle, in a single tick, is going to repeat around five times in this case. On the first time, index is going to equal zero because that's the first index. So the, it will do the loop once whilst index is zero. Then index is increased by one. And it will keep going around that loop until the last index is no longer true. So when index equals five, this for loop will no longer do the loop body and instead will do the completed line here. So to demonstrate this, I can just plug my index here into my string and you should see now those indices being printed out. Zero, one, two, three, four. And it's as simple as that really. And where this comes into use is if you need to repeat a certain amount of code um, based on certain variables or certain distances, lengths, those sort of things. Uh, it is very much a very useful uh, uh, utility. And it's a matter of where you want to place it, really. Um, it's just one of those another tool in your arsenal. Now, the, com the completed fires off once the loop has finished. So here, if I do pinch string, and I'm going to just type in completed loop. And you can see here, it does it all in one single frame. That's the main thing to remember, it does it in one single frame. Okay. Now, alternatively, there is the for loop with break. So let me just remove this and put, replace it with a for loop with break. So the for loop with break works fundamentally the same. So if I can, I can plug all this in as it, as it was, put that to four, I compile, push play. And you can see it works exactly the same. The difference with this one is this extra node here, break. And the break could be something that interrupts this for loop. And it's usually called by something inside our loop. So for example, if an index is above a certain number or is equal to a certain number. So to demonstrate that, I'm gonna go to index, it's equal to, put that to a branch, And if it's equal to, say, 3, I want it to be true to go into that break. So I can just plug it in like so. If you double click a line, you can rearrange it with a reroot node to help you see what's going on. If it's false, I'm going to print the string of the index that we have been. So what this is going to happen now is that when I play the game it's going to loop round one two and th uh, zero one and two 
On the third index, it won't print anything, it will just go around to the break, and that's it. The for loop will have stopped and go through the completed line here. Click compile, play, and you can see 0, 1, 2, completed. And that is for loops. And if you have any questions or other notes you want to know about, head over to the comment section, leave a comment below, and I'll be happy to uh, try and get a video done for you. Thanks very much for watching. If you want to support me, head over to patreon.com forward slash Ryan Ailey. Be much appreciated. Thank you for everyone so far who has supported me. Uh, couldn't be doing it without you. So thanks very much, and I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.